And at the place where it's doing it, it's when the Earth is the opposite side of the sun, so it's coming from behind the sun, and it's uh, so it makes it difficult to detect. Hmm. And that this object is in a direct line to come to Earth in 2027. On October 29, 2025, the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected, known as 3I Atlas, reached its perihelion, its closest pass to the sun, traveling at nearly 68 kilometers per second. In that moment, the world's leading space agencies, including NASA, the European Space Agency, and the International Astronomical Union, were all watching. Across observatories from Chile to Hawaii, telescopes pivoted toward the inner solar system. Data links lit up from the James Webb Space Telescope, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, and ground stations in the Canary Islands, South Africa and Arizona. Every instrument capable of tracking light or movement near the sun was now pointed at a single object, a visitor not from our solar system, but from somewhere else entirely. And for the first time, that coordination prompted something unusual, an internal NASA meeting bringing together experts from planetary defense, deep space tracking, and astrobiology. Not because of danger, but because the object represented something we had never fully prepared for. The possibility of contact through observation, not communication. 3I Atlas, named for the telescope system that first detected it, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, is not just another comet. It's moving on what's known as a hyperbolic orbit, meaning it isn't gravitationally bound to the Sun. It came from deep interstellar space and will leave again, never to return. The discovery was first made in early July 2025, when the Atlas system in Chile and Hawaii detected a fast-moving dot among the background stars. When orbit calculations were performed, the numbers shocked astronomers. Its eccentricity, a measure of how open an orbit is, exceeded one, confirming it was not of solar system origin. Its velocity relative to the Sun, nearly 200,000 kilometers per hour, faster than any known comet or asteroid. This made it only the third interstellar visitor ever recorded, after Taumuamua in 2017 and two Isborosov in 2019. Each of these objects had raised its own mysteries, and 3I Atlas would be no exception. Normally, a passing comet wouldn't trigger a high-level meeting, but this wasn't just any comet. Unlike typical objects, 3I Atlas appeared perfectly aligned with the plane of the solar system, the same flat disk where Earth, Mars, and Jupiter orbit. That alignment is statistically rare for an interstellar visitor, and it meant that as the object approached perihelion, it would cross near Earth's orbital distance. The object's brightness, composition, and motion were carefully tracked through NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory using the HORIZONS ephemeris system, which provides high-precision orbital predictions. These models confirmed that 3I Atlas would pass safely, but close enough to be observed in unprecedented detail. Inside NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, analysts began reviewing potential observation windows for radar imaging, spectroscopy, and photometric light curves. For interstellar objects, this isn't about impact risk. It's about the chance to collect direct evidence of matter from another star system. Yet, one question lingered across every department. Could this be more than natural? The debate began not within NASA but in academia. At Harvard University, Dr. Avi Loeb, director of the Galileo Project, had long argued that the first interstellar object, Taumuamua, showed unexplained characteristics. It accelerated slightly as it left the solar system, without visible outgassing. Loeb's reasoning was simple. When data doesn't fit the model, don't discard the data, expand the model. When 3I Atlas appeared, Loeb suggested that if this object exhibited non-gravitational motion or performed a maneuver at perihelion, we might need to consider it as more than a comet. His idea wasn't that it was an alien ship, but that it might represent technological debris from another civilization. NASA's public stance remained cautious but open. Officials confirmed that no evidence of propulsion or course change existed. But they also acknowledged that the period around perihelion is impossible to monitor continuously due to the sun's glare. That created a brief observational blackout lasting several days, a gap when no telescope could see 3I Atlas directly. And that gap was enough to fuel speculation. During the blackout, 
NASA and ESA relied on solar observation satellites like SOHO, Stereway, and GOES-19, whose coronagraphs occasionally catch comets passing near the Sun. However, these instruments are not designed for deep space tracking. They observe plasma, not faint interstellar dust. The GOES-19 solar imager operates primarily in ultraviolet wavelengths to monitor solar flares and terrestrial weather phenomena, not distant comets. Its optical sensitivity is thousands of times lower than required to isolate a magnitude 12 object near the solar disk. As NASA later clarified, any supposed bright spots seen in those feeds were pixel noise or cosmic ray hits, not the comet itself. The real data came from professional observatories once 3i Atlas moved back into darker skis. By mid-November 2025, telescopes at Mauna Kea Observatory, the Very Large Telescope in Chile, and the Lowell Discovery Telescope in Arizona, confirmed that 3i Atlas had developed a coma and a tail, the unmistakable signs of a natural comet. Spectroscopic analysis revealed the chemical fingerprints of water ice, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, volatile compounds that sublimate under solar heat. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water was unusually high, a hint that this comet formed in a colder, more distant region of its home system. These are not the markers of artificial construction. They are the markers of nature at work in an alien environment. Still, the data was breathtaking. By studying 3i Atlas, scientists could directly sample the chemistry of a solar system that formed billions of years before ours. The so-called NASA emergency meeting wasn't a crisis meeting. It was a coordination session. On October 31st, days after perihelion, NASA's Office of Planetary Science, EDCO, and representatives from ESA, CNSA, and the Minor Planet Center met to review observation results and plan the reacquisition phase once the object re-emerged from solar conjunction. Declassified summaries indicate three primary objectives. Reacquire 3i Atlas's position after it exits the solar glare using telescopes in the Southern Hemisphere. Measure post-perihelion trajectory with high-precision astrometry to check for any deviation from predicted models and coordinate spectroscopic studies to determine isotopic ratios, specifically oxygen-18 and deuterium levels, to learn about its system of origin. This wasn't preparation for alien contact. It was preparation for scientific contact. The moment humanity touches, through light and data, material that began its journey before Earth existed. For astronomers, interstellar visitors are priceless. Each one is a message, a sample from another planetary nursery traveling across the galaxy. Taumuamua showed us the unexpected, Borisov showed us the familiar, and 3i Atlas is showing us the diversity of everything in between. If these three objects are representative of what drifts through interstellar space, then the galaxy is filled with debris, fragments of ancient worlds, planetary cores, and frozen oceans cast adrift by gravitational chaos. Some of those fragments eventually cross paths with us, offering brief moments of study before disappearing forever. Each discovery pushes science forward and forces humanity to confront a bigger idea. We are not just observing our solar system. We are part of a much larger, dynamic galaxy that's constantly exchanging material between its stars. As 3i Atlas moves away from the Sun, it will head toward the outer planets. In March 2026, it's predicted to pass within 54 million kilometers of Jupiter, providing another opportunity for long-range observation by orbiters such as Juno and New Horizons. If the comet remains intact, it may even be faintly visible again to large amateur telescopes by mid-2026. NASA's planetary defense team has confirmed there is no risk of impact, no anomaly in its acceleration, and no evidence of technological behavior. But the agency's tone remains one of awe and preparation, not for danger but for discovery, because every interstellar visitor is a chance to rewrite what we know about the universe, not through fiction, but through data. When we say NASA prepared for contact, what we really mean is that science itself prepared to listen, not to a signal, but to a sample from another world. Every photon we collect from 3i Atlas carries information older than our species. Every spectral line reveals chemistry written before the sun was born. 
This is how civilizations make contact, not through radio waves or lights in the sky, but through the quiet accumulation of evidence that tells us we are part of something vastly interconnected. As Dr. Thomas Statler put it in his briefing, interstellar objects are not alien visitors, they're ancient messengers, reminders that our solar system isn't isolated but part of a galactic ecosystem. In that sense, preparation for contact isn't about defense, it's about readiness to understand. The data from this object will occupy scientists for decades. The spectra, isotopic ratios, and orbital reconstructions will refine our models of how planetary systems form and die. Each discovery brings us closer to answering the most profound question in science. Are we typical, or are we rare? For now, 3i Atlas continues its silent voyage, fatting slowly as it exits the solar system. It will cross Neptune's orbit in 2027 and vanish into darkness once again. But the story it left behind will echo through every observatory, every classroom, and every curious mind on Earth. What began as a faint streak of light over Chile became a global scientific effort, a coordinated moment in history when humanity looked outward together, not to fear, but to learn. Because in the search for understanding, preparation for contact doesn't mean waiting for someone to arrive. It means being ready to recognize the extraordinary when it passes silently through our sky. This is the future of astronomy and the beginning of a new chapter in how we listen to the universe.